Thursday, frickin' 16. We should be going to prepare for the oh. freaking trip. Good morning, Alice Coon. School camp trip starts tomorrow. We'll be in the same group, but what should we cook for dinner? Hey, why don't we get everyone to go buy ingredients after school? Yeah, we should do that. That's gonna be fun. Okay, I'll be sure to let Chia and Yosuke come now then. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll call it wait, we're finally going on the school trip. Juna's grocery department. We came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? I don't know, I've never made curry in a day in my life. Carrots. Oh carrots. Potatoes. potatoes. Onions, mm. Mushrooms. No, no mushrooms. Peppers, no green peppers. Radishes? What the frick is a radish? Onions, maybe. But the rest of that stuff, no. First story good. Are radishes the same as turnips? No, what's a turnip? No, I'm just kidding. I know what turnips are, and I've heard of radishes, but I've never eaten either of those. They're apparently gonna make curry. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. Okay, but can you leave the cooking to me, please, for the love of we goodness? We going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. But I'm so hungry, I want all of it. Hmm, I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. I thought we were all shopping together. Where is Yo-Yo? He's on another floor, isn't he? Oh, there he? he is. Do you want me to go ask? Yes, please. Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. No, 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 no. We should ask him. We should not just randomly buy things from the store. Ramen is so good, right? Oh, God, here we go. Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? No, I don't, I don't know about that. Uh... Of course you do. These girls don't know what they're doing! I feel like that's not correct! Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Someone, you can literally just pull out a phone and look it up! What are you doing? Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. I have never cooked curry in a day of my life, no lie, but I feel like this is not the correct way to go about it. There's different kinds of flour! Who we'll uses cell phones? We I do! <laughs> All purpose? Whole wheat? Oh my god, here we go. Hmm. Whole wheat sounds healthy. No, 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 stop. Let's get that one. And god, here, we go. here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Okay, but what about people who don't like spice? I don't like spice. Oh well, let's just get everything that seems right. No, that's even worse! She's not supposed to get things that seem right! How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. Uh, yo, yo, please help. These girls are taking over. There's two kinds, though. Black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Oh, God, yo, yo, please help. This thing, right? Oh, yeah. We'll need some special ingredients, too, to spice things up. We don't need no spicing things up. What are you doing? I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt. What are you talking about? Those are three things that does not belong in curry. <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. That does not belong in curry. Oh my God, what is wrong with you? <clears throat> in the evil brain way, so your brain making you human lazy. If you pray to our God every day, you'll be cured a peaceful lifestyle. It's like what Sheenling said. It's not fun cooking unless there's surprises. No, no, no. I'm gonna die. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha. So let's get that. No, oh, stop what about it. Some seafood. That should make the sauce taste better. Why can't I tell them to stop? You can't do this. My God, I'm such a pansy. I'm letting them walk all over us. Well, we're gonna starve for the camping trip. You're back. Yeah, thanks! <laughs> Dojima! Please, these girls are bullying me! They're gonna make us eat, eat poison food! I'm not looking forward to the camping trip anymore. Nanako! Can we just pack some lunch or something? I'm going to die. Oh, now, man, I'm going to die. Ahem! <clears throat> but this way is a professional... Oh, but this is the way a professional cook thinks. No, 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 I'm gonna die. Oral study. I'm gonna study because it's gonna be my last night. My last nights on the earth is the camping trip. Here I go. I'm writing out my will. My knowledge is increased. Yep. My knowledge increased. Why can't I tell them to stop it? Alright, first day of our camping trip begins today. 
Today is the first day of the school camp out. You should hurry to the meeting place. Camping. Whoa. Oh, they're gonna poison me. I'm gonna die. Uh, someone find my will in my room, please. School camp at dusk. It's time to camp. Oh, look at this in our jerseys. This is so cute. Look at this whole camping thing. It's so nice. Ugh, picking up all that trash was murder on my back. Oh, guess what else is gonna be murder, yo yo? Don't eat the food. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Uh-huh. Were you writing your will instead of camping? Yeah, I was writing my will instead of studying. Yes, definitely. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Okay, but listen here. I need to tell you something before you even try to dig in. Dude, the girls cook just for us. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Do not eat it. Whatever you do for the love of all that's good and holy, if you... Want to live for the love of all of the things? Do not eat it! Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi in behind her food. She's never cooked a day in her life, except for the times that she made me box lunches, and I almost died several times. Please, Yo-Yo! You're my best friend! You need to trust me on you this! You know it's gonna be out of this world! No, 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 Yo, yo, you shouldn't eat it! Please, 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 do not eat it! Oh, no way! I'm not falling for that! You just want it all for yourself, I huh? am not- I'm not eating it! Listen, yo, yo, I'm trying to save your life! I can't wait to dig in! <gasps> but isn't the main ingredient always love? Yo, yo, you got Yukiko to cook for you before? Oh, you know, huh? that was just a test run! we taste this? Yeah, but there, wait, there's purple stuff coming out of it. I am very concerned. Huh? Well, only if you do it first. You need to taste it. You need to taste your horrible concoction in your bed. Oh, Did they taste man, it? Here it comes. No, I'm not eating. I'm not eating that. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um. I'm not eating it. Nope. We put a lot of love into it. I don't care about your love. This is poison. Meanwhile, Hanako being the best cook. I know, right? I could have just had her pack me a lunch. Are you kidding me right now? Well, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome. No, 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 okay, no. Okay, then. Chow time. No. Good luck, yo-yo. <laughs> I literally warned you, you dummy! Why don't you listen to your bro? H hey! I think you killed him. I need to go call the police now and say what that she ate and you can go. Never mind, he's alive. I mean, what kind of. Curry's supposed to be like really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks! Yep. Good and luck with you. Gritty, too. I don't even know what that means. Somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got. Squishy parts in it. What did you guys put in there? I'm so concerned. It's so freaking nasty. I'm not sticky. Swallow it. Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of texture. Then you try it. It's nauseating. Come on, it's not that bad. And you eat it. That's just your opinion. I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. Oh, now you say so? When I was literally telling you a little bit ago not to do it? You're being looked at with expectation. Ah, no, sorry. Decline the offer. She and Yukiko are staring at you. It seems you have no choice but to eat it. God dang it, game! Why are you forcing me to eat this garbage? The second you put the uh, food in your mouth, you sense that something is wrong. You can tell if one after bite... That this isn't edible. There's no way you can even swallow it. <laughs> I just spit it out! Okay, I'm dead. I am now dead. Read out my will. Everything goes to not yo-yo because he killed me. Because he did sorry. not help me. I just put in milk, chocolate, and anything under the sun. Sorry. Yeah, you should have tasted us in it. I could have died. What are we going to do? Our group's the only one without food. Yep, I guess we're going hungry. Like I said, you should not have left it to these girls. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Yeah, for all I know, I'm gonna get superpowers tomorrow. You don't know. <gasps> Something smells good. As you can tell, Hanako is still eating behind us. Hanako. Yep. 
<sighs> I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. She's going to turn you down. I seriously doubt she's going to share any of our food, her food with us. Hey, uh, Hanako. You I know. wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some. We're begging you. We're starving to death here. Wow, that's your defense. You're so desperate. Shut the fuck up. Do they put in human meat? I don't think they should do that. No way. Wow, you're so rude. You have more than enough to share with the rest of us. <laughs> I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. Oh, uh, yeah, but you could totally share. There's pretty much enough there for all of us. All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Yeah, there's a bucket right there. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. Oh, I have no signal. But our cell phones don't get service. That's again. what I thought. And dinner time's almost over. Guess we're going a bit hungry. <gasps> Chie, you're looking awfully uh, <coughs> tasty. <laughs> Why don't we just cook up Chie tonight? What? I didn't say All anything. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Hey, bye, girls. Thanks for making us go hungry. Come on, people. Look alive. Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. I guess so, but I didn't even get to eat. She ain't looking like a snack. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. Boo? I mean, uh, off to bed. Lights out. Aha, uh -huh. so Morocco has been hitting the sauce. You guys are going to pay for this. Yeah, I'm going to be so hungry that I might eat my best friend Yo-Yo. So if you see him gone, you'll know why. <laughs> night. Yeah, good night. Murderers of food. Shouldn't have left me alone with them, Yo-Yo. They were walking all over me and I couldn't stop them from buying whatever the frick they bought, you know? Don't leave me! Inside Alice and Yosuke's tent! So hungry, I'm gonna die. Damn it, I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. And how hey. the hell did you end up here? Hey, Kanji! Wait, what now? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. What? Oh! Oh yeah, so he did show up! Yay! Kanji Ten! Now he's in our tent! The first year's ten is all quiet. Like someone died. Well, I mean, because it's you. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Got him. Is it just you two in this tent? Of course, they split up boys and girls. Because of regulations or whatever, who cares? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. Oh, no, that's true. Yeah, I should have did that because then I wouldn't have been poisoned. Poisoned me. So it's okay if I hang out here? Yeah, sure, why not? Best friend club. You got cards or something we could do, like ghost stories. Stay as long as you want. Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Of course, anything for best boy Kanjagoon. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. Wait, what? Someone did that. I mean, our stomachs kind of died a little. All right, all right. You can sleep over there. Okie dokie. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed <laughs> to sleep? You hurt like hell. Why don't we all just squish together like press bud potatoes? Pipe down. Didn't you say you weren't going to make any noise? Well, you're shouting too. Yo, senpai, can't you go just a little further back? Oh, is he talking to Kanjukun? Nope. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. Okay, why can't we all just squoosh together? If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Or we could just pick up the tent and have it off of the rock. Why do we put on, on, on a rock? Can't we just move the rock? Oh, we could also move the rock. There is that option. There's three guys hey, here. Wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? Yep. That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. And did he you? He was going on and on about... When I was in middle school, when he doesn't know shit about any of that. I don't know you in middle Not school, so how that, would I know? He was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy sucks. I hope he gets fired from the way he treats his students. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Man, he needs to get fired. Why is he not fired yet? Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. Uh -huh. He said that asshole was talking shit <gasps> about the two girls No, he, he died. didn't. He needs to get arrested. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? All right, let's beat him up. It was like, 
It's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. All right, let's throw him in jail. No, maybe it's he was the TV world. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch, Moraoka. I'll let that slide, but watch your language, boy. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. Right? Can we? Oh yeah, you already Never that. shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Or me when I moved here this year. Oh crap! I didn't mean to press that Even button. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. Excuse the me? Kid's a damn teacher, for God's sake. Uh, yo yo, what do you think you're doing? Nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Why are you munching? I am starving. Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Yeah, what animal are you eating? Animal crackers. They're not even your animal crackers. I'm hungry. Those are mine. You could have asked him, and he would have shared with us. You stupid idiot. Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin. Yeah, the penguin. The secret animal cracker. You were eating them, and you didn't know that. Ah, oh, poor air penguin. Oh, are you serious? Well, you should have said something. We can just... Oh, no, we're not going to do that. Oh, well. Oh, this isn't going to fill me up. Oh, I'm hungry. Let's just go to sleep. Can I have some animal That's crackers? That's all you got to say for yourself after taking my snacks. I'll ask kindly. Kanji kun I'm like, yo, yo, can I have some of your snacks? I didn't get to have any dinner. Please. I guess not. Well, guess that's nice. It doesn't work. Don't you have more space on your side? Yeah, I get to sleep right next to Kanji kun Let's go. No, this is perfectly fine. Stop your whining. And I can't sleep over there, or my back's gonna break. Why don't you just switch places with him, Kanji and Yo Yo? Then you both can shit up. Oh, okay. I don't have to see any uh, problems with this. Hey. What? Yeah. Why'd you come to this tent? What do you mean? <laughs> I already told you. What you talking about? Jeez, wrong with you. Yeah, what's wrong with you, Yo-Yo? This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Are we ever going to sleep, Yo-Yo? Come uh, on, man. Okay. Yeah? Are you really, you know... Put it out! Come on, man! Am I really what? Just say it! What I mean is, um, are we going to be safe alone with you... Wow, that is the most rudest thing you could ever ask to someone who likes the same gender as them. Yo, yo, I'm about to push you off this cliff. What? How dare you? We can trust best boy Kanji Kun. Besides, I'm sleeping right next to him. So shut your mouth. Oh, God. What, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Uh, I got no problem with you being like that, bro. You can be whatever you want. It's 2020. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? Why are you making this worse, Yo-Yo? It's just more suspicious. Yo-Yo, you're actually being more suspicious. I'd say we're especially safe. Hell no! What the mad, Kanji? We Hansi? settled this already, damn it. Right now, I'm... Well... Uh-huh. How do I put it? Uh... What is it? Oh, God, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. Well, he's not gonna attack us in your sleep, Yo-Yo. He's a good bro. I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Okay. Good. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Prove it. Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. I'm not scared of Kanji. You're the one that's scared of Kanji. Yo, yo, you got a problem? <laughs> to hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm going to go hit the girl's tent right now. Kanji, please don't. I don't want you getting thrown out of here. <laughs> Wait, well, that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. Yeah, you don't have to go that Let's far, crazy. I'll you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, stop this right now. As your leader, yeah, I... Yeah, like that stuff, a man like me. As your leader, I say no. Deliquacy. Seriously going for it. Hey, man, you gotta stop him. Absolutely. Don't do this. You try to convince Kanji Kun not to go through with it. Your expression increase. I'm persuasive. I can talk to Nautico now. But he's not listening. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. Well, some leader I am. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it! No, I don't want you getting expelled! Ah! Kanji! Stop! Kanji! Hey, wait! Kanji, come back! What a putz. I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. You can't do that! You're the reason he left! You stupid idiot! You're in charge of him now! Look what you did, Yo-Yo! I don't know if I like Yo-Yo right now. He's being a brat. How dare he hurt poor Kanji-kun like this? I'm very upset. Meanwhile, inside Chien, you can go tent. 
Oh, okay, I see it. They're stuck with Hanako. Uh, now I get why we're the only three in here. Aw, poor Chi and Yukika, but that's what you get for so serving us poison. I can't sleep. Why don't you come over to our tent? It'll be fine. Oh, I'm hungry, too. Yeah, but you regret it. Should have eaten a little more of that curry. Yeah, right. It might have knocked us unconscious. True. Sheesh. We can't sleep. We can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Yeah, he's in Being the TV world by himself. It's pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he... He what? He what, Jay? <sighs> <sighs> Finally, Where took you long go, enough. Though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. That's the most real I've ever heard, Yuki chan. Right? The sort of sad, depressing voice? Absolutely. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? That's illegal! That's called murder! No, 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 no. Yukiko, no! Uh, Chia, you better stop her before she becomes a murderer. Uh, I can't take it anymore. Oh, that's what you get. Karma's a bee. <gasps> Who's there? Maybe if you get attacked by a bear, it'll save you. Do it. She deserves it. Oh, no. Back at Alice and Yukiko. Yusuke, Yosuke, Kun, I didn't hey, say Yukiko. Are you guys still up? Yes. I'm so hungry. I'm going to die. What are you die. doing here? This is the guy's side. I'm in the tent, Let please. In. Yeah, okay. No problem. Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. No, bring him in here. We might as well. It's too late. We can't. Attacked by Teddy? Maybe. Ah, it's a ghost! Are there any rotten apples on the Oh, mouth? sounds like a drunkard's any around. Indecent students out there? That's your mouth. All right, hurry up and get in. Yeah, sleep over, slumber party. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji-kun. What did Kanji-kun do? He's out cold. Wait, what? I, I don't know what happened. What did you do? He just came in and then and then he he fainted all of a sudden. That's the freakest lie I've ever heard. Did you hit him? That's all, right, Yukiko? Did you both hit him? Huh? Uh, yeah. You gonna look me in the eyes and tell me that you didn't touch Kanji Kun at all? Cause Kanji Kun is best boy. And if anything happened because of you two, you're gonna get it. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there, and you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. How did they know we were here? They obviously found our tent somehow. That's why we left him there. Mm -mm. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. You punched him. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. Nobody cares, King Moran. Go to bed. That guy's so him. annoying. He's right outside! Right? Hey, turn the light off! You turn the light off! Your arm is closer! Yeesh. Rude. You can sense King Moron getting closer. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! Yes, yeah, me, Alice Damon! We're right here! Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Okay, why do you guys say it like that? That's just weird. Is Hanamura already asleep? Sure. Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. You don't talk if you're asleep. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut <laughs> up and go back to sleep. Shush. Now, Sans, get in the back of head. He won't even hear us coming. <sighs> oh, I guess we got to murder him. Uh, what? <laughs> I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. Well, if we don't see Maroka, he probably fell off the cliff in his drunkard state. Sucks to suck, teacher. It seems that King Warren left. <sighs> there goes a couple years off my lifespan. Yippee yippee! No joke! We were nearly expelled! And who thought fault do you think that is? Hey, this is you guys' fault! Exactly! Well, what else are we supposed to do? I don't know! Kick Hanako out! Anyways, we can't leave now! We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow! Is that good enough for you? How are you gonna wake up before anyone else? I can seriously doubt these two wake up that early. What are you I wake up at 5 a.m. Because that's how I roll. You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Why are you worried about Yo-Yo? I mean, he was worried about freaking, uh, Hanji-kun, but, like, you don't need to worry about him. Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. 
You owe us for this. And for the dinner you ruined and almost poisoned us. Thank you. You set up a barricade inside the tent using everyone's belongings. You spent the night cramped up in a tight space. Even though Kanji could clearly could have fit in here. Now we have four people in here. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. This campy trip is turning into a real bee. Anyway, the students were all dismissed in the morning. Hey, Kanji kun how was your night? Looks like we're the only ones here. Uh, what's one more? What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, that's not what happened at all. No, it's just. I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. You did. It's so weird. Was it a dream? I woke up. I was in Yosuke's and. Oh, tent. how convenient, Chia Yukiko. It, it was a dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. I doubt it. All right, then. Let's get swimming. I got a bad feeling about this. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. Oh, I don't want to go in either. I, my trip is totally ruined from the get night before. What are you for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. No thanks. I don't want to go swimming anymore. You know, you two still owe us. Whoa, 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 we're not going in there. Why not? You're wearing whatever it is you're wearing. The jumpsuits, you just jump in. I mean, we do owe you, but... Oh, yeah, we don't have swimsuits with us. Man, a blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Do we really only bring this pack of clothes, what we're wearing right now, to the thing? I'm pretty sure we packed other pieces of clothing. Pushes them it in. Really is unfortunate. Yeah, why don't we just push Yukiko and Chia in? I mean, they totally deserve it, right? Oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Ta-da! I've got you covered. Wait, where did you just have those? Uh, did they come out of your butt pockets? Also, how do you know their sizes? They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. Whoa, you you wanted to have some fun with them. Calm down, yo yo. A friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Uh, no, this is bad. Dude, that's just wrong. Oh, so if we had a girlfriend here who bought bathing suits for the two of you, you wouldn't mind it? Did you have those this whole time? Maybe. I mean, that's yo-yo for you. That's so Come sexist, on, though. Come on, let's all go swimming. No, uh, we can all just go swimming in our jerseys if we have extra clothes, you know. What should we do, Yukiko? In his back pocket. In his butt pocket. <laughs> It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. That sounds nothing like Chie. You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. You know, the one you almost poisoned us. Mm. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. Yeah, you would have slept in the tent with Hanako and Kanji-kun. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. I mean, I can relate to that. All right, that's more like it. All right, so anyway. How far off did those two go to get changed? Oh, so we do have a change of clothes. We could have just easily gone in our jerseys. Come on, let's get in. Hey, girl. Your bathing suits are cute. Whoa, man. But I, oh, wait, I was about to say, I'm still the best looking one here, but all of us are the best looking ones here. That water don't look clean though. I know, right? That's why I didn't want to go in. <sighs> Ooh, Kanji. Stop staring like that. Hey. Aw, isn't everyone embarrassed? <gasps> you two look cute. Where did that come from? Uh, yeah, no. Both of you are cute. They both seem embarrassed. Man, this is going even better than I expected. Uh-huh. No, I don't, definitely don't want to go in, though. Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. Yeah, get right. Come on. You guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Wait, what? Oh, good suits. Yes, absolutely. These girls might be childish on the inside. But I bet they're gonna turn into some fine-looking women before too long. Yo, yo, put your foot in your mouth. You need to stop talking like that while they're right standing in front of you. Oh, wait, what? No, look at Alice going down the ham route. Noodles. Wait, what? Don't you think so? Uh, you have a point there. Well, hmm. 
I don't know if I should say this. It's probably kind of rude if I say it, but if I don't say it the other way, I might also be rude too. I don't know. I'm not in. I'm not part of this conversation. I don't know about that. You guys crossed the line. Yeah, see, I didn't think there was a way to get out of here. Definitely. Oh no! What are you doing, you dummies? Uh, it's freezing. You, you didn't have to push us in. First they tried to poison us with food. Then we covered for them for King Moron. Now they're pushing us into this freezing freaking lake water, river water. They're so rude. Yo-Yo's right though. Well, I didn't want to get them any more angry, but I think both options would have gotten the same results. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. You didn't have to push. You're so rude. I kind of broke my head on this rock. They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji-kun? Hey, I'm not the worst. I'm the leader. Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? Don't, don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still... Wait, injuries? Uh... Injuries? What? Ooh, he got a bloody nose. Is it from me and Yo-Yo? Mmm, boy. Kanji has a nosebleed. Ew! Why are you being mean to kanji Kun? God. Rude. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Kanji? You're one of us that now. Was close. What? what was that for? I didn't do anything. He didn't get a nosebleed from you ladies. He's obviously got a nosebleed from us guys. I know. What the frick, Yuki Gunchan? You're so rude. <laughs> now he's gonna catch a cold. Poor Yo Yo. Hey, I mean, what's Hanji? Into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? Uh oh, I got a bad feeling about it. <laughs> Ew! No! 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 no. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 can't talk. And that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. Okay, I want to burn this from my memory. Everybody get Senpai. out. Everybody out. Don't say it. Everybody out. Everybody out right now. I'm gonna need to clean myself like there's no tomorrow. You feel as though a million showers will never make you clean. No, a million plus one will make me clean from that... Vomiting King Moron from the booze last night! You just pushed a bleeding man down 20 feet into a bloody cold water! Yeah, kinda killed them, Kanji Ko. I mean, Yoki Ko Chan, whatever. Anyway, thanks, Nanako. How was the school camp? Don't talk to me about that school camp. It was the worst school camp of my life. We never want to go again. I thought we'd make some fun memories, roasting some marshmallows, telling spooky stories. It was the worst, Nanako! I'm so sad and upset! Ugh, thank goodness you're here. I'm gonna go to bed and wash this memory out of my brain. You're exhausted from the school camp. You should go back to your room and rest and pretend like it never ever happened. Oh look, we're having another family dinner. I'm gonna be so fat from eating over there with Kanji and not eating this as well. Kanji can river it. Absolutely not! Don't ever say that again! The three of you are sitting at the table. An entertainment news show is on. That concludes Risei Kujikawa's statement Risei? regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. Something- Oh, she's on our leave from her entertainment? Ooh, she famous? I've never heard of her Short before. Of time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. Okay, I'm cool. Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? Physical? Whoa. No, my health isn't an issue. Oh, hello, lady. Psychological problems, then? That's none of your business, what? reporter. Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Oh, snap, she's coming here. Huh? Um. Oh, poor Reza, I feel is bad it for her. Run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? Oh, God, it's like freaking Yukiko all over again. No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please. I mean, what? It looks like our mental health is an issue. Probably. The press conference has erupted into chaos. Is Risei-chan quitting her job on TV? I don't know. I've never heard of her before in a day in my life. What are you talking about? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. Yep, and you're the police officer, so we let you handle it. I'm tired of diets. Oh, there she is. The gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> I saw this commercial before. That's where she's from. Calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. That's a lie. You'll just drink more of that stuff and then you'll get fatter. Liars. Risei Kujikawa, huh? Wait, what now? 
Isn't he a detective, not a police officer? Oh, well, I mean... Isn't he kind of both, though? Because he works with the police, right? Eh, the one eh, good whatever. thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? How would I know? I'm a clearly a normal high school student. Yes. Clearly normal. He's an old man. Yeah, okay. So anyway, about all that bubble blue. blue at least we don't have yeah. to worry about anything else. Hey, yo, senpai! Sorry, I haven't completely woken up yet. Oh yeah, the shopping district seems different today when I pass by. Like everyone was really hustling more than usual. I wonder what's going on. I smell a case behind it. Smell? Man, you sound like the teddy. It didn't seem like the cops were involved in what was there though. Guess I'll try asking around at school. Okay, see you at school, kanji -kun. Well, after school, because you're in class one or whatever, because you're younger than me. Hey, kanji! We're over here, bro! Yeah. Are you acting a bit sus? Can't imagine kanji in uniform. I know, right? Look at this cool summer uniform. He's totally breaking the dress code. I love it. Hey, what up, bro? There he is. You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's me! I know it's me! It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. A and for me, right? But man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I wonder why! <laughs> you can go. <coughs> what? <coughs> I thought we were all gonna forget about what happened. Yeah, especially what Chia and Yukiko did. Oh, sorry. Come on. Yo Yo is really sad today. I'm so <sighs> sorry. Uh, whatever. So, yeah. hey, you guys see the news? I saw it. Rizzi's coming to town, right? You? Oh, that stuff about Risei Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? And she's coming here! I why. She was just getting popular lately. I don't know. I don't watch TV. I'm just kidding. What? I used my phone. Just to prove that being an idol is tough work. Especially since he's not in uniform. Is Risei that popular? I don't know huh? Risei. You don't know her? Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. Everyone's just staring at me like... What is wrong with you? Do you not have social media? Yes, I have social media, but I've never heard of Rize. Listen here, bro. I don't have time to be on my phone as much as the rest of you people. It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top-class idol in no time. There are plenty of things wrong with this yo-yo. How dare you? To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie. Like, we didn't need to face our shadow like the rest of you people, so obviously there's something a wrong with us. Cutie pie? What are you, 80? Take one to know when she is here, so she must have a lot of local fans. Maybe the news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? That place is gonna be swamped with people. Mariku, Mariku, that sounds adorable. Mariku, Mariku, Mariku tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Mariku. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. I'm gonna get that stuck in my head from now on. Wait, does that mean I can meet Rise if I go to her tofu shop? She could. Only be in the same school as us. Like, oh my god, why do you not listen to me? So anyway, ahem, I'm not interested. She's taking a break from showbiz. She doesn't want people swarming her. Obviously. Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Yeah, exactly. Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. Oh, snap! She was just on the news, wasn't she? Do you think is going to be the next she victim? She could be the next target. Right? I just now remembered. Wow, Chia, you're actually useful for something. And then to stop and not just poisoning us or pushing us into rivers. Anyway. What? Come on. It's not like Risa started showing up on TV just recently. Yeah, but she was on a news broadcast and they talked about Inaba. Also, how could Risa be connected to the incident so far? Because she's on TV, like they were on Inaba. I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. A next vi target. Apparently, it seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. So it doesn't matter. She's been on the same show once or twice. Yeah, I see. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. Exactly. So that's kind of sus, and don't you think? She is moving here after all. Exactly. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. All right, well, I guess we have no choice. We gotta go approach her. And if her. she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. Oh, we, I thought we already decided the killer only kills people who appear on TV news broadcasts. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, right? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Risei is next, 
then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. Yeah, I thought we already decided and that. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Yep. Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You okay there, Kajakun? Took a little long right. to answer. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Rise does. Okay, calm down, yo yo. That's a little too sus just coming Let's from you. Let's do it. Sheesh, he's all pumped up. Kanji's in a mood. Yeah, I think he's still upset from the freaking camping trip. Most likely. And that's where we're going to leave today's episode of Persona 4 Golden. Thank you all for watching today's episode. And stay tuned next time as we figure out what's going to happen now that that horrible camping trip is over. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.